Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. Today I'm going to show you how to configure Flex Connect mode on uh, Cisco Wireless LAN controller. So as you know, we have multiple AP modes and I covered that in a different video. So in that, out of that uh, multiple AP modes, we have two modes that can serve the clients. So one is local mode and that is a default AP mode going to come with factory default settings. And uh, second one is Flex Connect mode. Using Flex Connect mode, you have a lot of options that you can customize other than uh, uh, local mode because when you put it in local mode, the entire traffic is going through your cap app tunnel and that will terminate around your controller side and controller will publish that to your infrastructure. But when we talk about Flex Connect, there is an option for you to just do the local switching and using that local switching feature, AP can directly send the packets out to your infrastructure in the AP side of scenario. So this particular mode is widely used in remote location scenarios. Your controller will be sitting in a da uh, data center or in your central office and your branch offices will be connected through your WAN link and this flex connect mode APs will be working in your branch location. So for giving guest access kind of scenario or highly secured networking access, you will pump, uh, pump that traffic through your uh, WAN link uh, and it will go through your DMC uh, controller or whatever it is the uh, based on your design. But to make that happen, you need Flex Connect AP. And Flex Connect AP can work without uh, controller in some of the combinations you can uh, use that. But I don't want to cover the entire stuff in this particular video. So I'll make this one as a part one. And here I'll show you how to just convert one AP from local mode to uh, flex connect mode. So here in this particular controller, I'm going to choose AP with the name of Apple uh, AP local flex and I'm going to change this one uh, into flex connect mode. Before I change this to flex connect mode, let me show you the same AP in CLI. So this is the AP I'm going to convert into local mode to uh, flex connect from local to flex. So before I change that, let me show you the interface structure and how this one works and all. So this is the command shows that uh, this AP is connected to one uh, controller and this controller name is this one and IP address is this and uh, basic stuffs can be find here. Then show IP in debrief is going to give you the interface structure on this uh, in this AP. So as you can see here, you have only one BVA interface. That is the uh, interface connected to uh, both of the radios. And you have, sorry for that. So um, th that is having a direct uh, bridging between those interfaces. So now I'm going to change this AP into uh, flex connect mode and let's see how that is going to affect the interface configuration. So let me show you the same interface in the um, same AP in controller side. So this is our AP. So let's see what is the So this is the current configuration as you can see here um, this particular AP is connected as AP mode as local and uh, this is the switch port uh, switch I'm going to uh, like this is the switch uh, my AP is connected to and it's connected to my switch port uh, 36. So run interface one slide. Okay, so uh, this is the interface. Uh, previously it was, uh, if you are not using Flex Connect, we can directly put it in uh, Access VLAN and that will work fine without any issues. But when we talk about Flex Connect, it can support multiple VLANs and it can support dot one q encapsulation. To support that, we have to make sure the switch port is configured with uh, trunk port, uh, like mode trunk. So here I already configured that mode trunk because I don't want to see the APs are uh, getting disconnected from the controller because of this change in inside the video recording. So uh, this one is running on VLAN 9 
and uh, switch port uh, mode trunk is already configured. So let me uh, move that AP from local to flex connect. So for changing that AP mode from local to flex connect, you you have to come to the uh, general page of the AP, then select the AP mode and click apply. When you do this apply, you can see some instructions will be given to your controller, uh, like your AP from the controller, and there are some changes happening in background. So as you can see here, that BB interface has got changed, and random MAC address got generated, and that interface has got generated. Then you can see the in interface structure got changed here. So instead of having one interface, BVI1, now it generated BVI234. So these many BVI uh, interfaces got enabled. Then you have interfaces uh, created for, sub-interfaces created for uh, .11 radio side also. So this is one change. The next I'm going to change uh, one more thing under WLAN. Right now all the WLANs are centrally switched. We don't have anything locally switched. That means the entire traffic is again go through your controller. So let me go and enable local switching for one of the WLANs. So I already have two WLANs with same SSID with different security combinations. And uh, I'm going to enable local switching for this particular SSID. And for changing the uh, local switching, you have to go to advanced page and uh, select local switching here. So this, lock, this is the uh, command uh, for enabling the local switching on the controller side. So under WLAN, you can select this and that will be local switching. And you have one more interface that is, uh, sorry, one more WLAN that is also having this configuration, but that is uh, unchecked. What this means is whatever data traffic coming through WLAN ID 1 is going to switch locally by the AP and whatever is coming through WLAN ID 2 that will get redirected to your controller uh, through cap app tunnel. So uh, here you got the AP and as you can see here uh, this VLAN interfaces, BVIs and everything is connected and this AP is now capable of doing the local switching. Now next, next step is you have to uh, you can see some changes happen when you change the mode of the AP so the first change happened for AP is you got one one more configuration tab here so this is called as flex connect and here you have a lot of things that you can uh, change so in this case I'm going to enable VLAN support on the AP side so this is what I said uh, earlier if you want to support multiple WLANs with different AP modes this is the feature you have to use you can enable native VLAN support if you enable that you will get another extra feature uh, called VLAN mapping so this particular AP is connected to VLAN 9 so let me configure VLAN 9 here then click apply when I click apply here again some changes will happen in AP side as you can see here the VLAN mapping got changed in background the interfaces got changed and let me show you the interface structure again. So whenever you do this mapping, you can see these changes are happening in background. Your interface, okay, one second. Interfaces are getting updated in background. So here, one more interface got introduced now. So you you uh, created that uh, VLAN mapping, you enable the VLAN mapping and there is a sub interface created for VLAN mapping. So this is the interface going to send the data traffic to your infrastructure using VLAN tagging. So uh, this native VLAN is configured and this is the interface going to use that VLAN tagging. So this is the interface got introduced in your controller side, sorry yeah, on AP side for supporting that local switching. Okay, so um, that is one. Next one is VLAN mapping for WLAN. So here, this interface is for AP that is uh, configured through Flex Connect native VLAN mapping here. And now we are going to enable we are going to enable VLAN mappings for WLANs. 
only the WLANs are having local switching enabled, you will get this option to enable it. So as you can see here, you have only one SSID and that is coming from WLAN ID 1. WLAN ID 2 is not available here because that local switching is not enabled. So 9 is already mapped here because you are native VLAN and your WLAN is mapping with same w, uh, VLAN ID. So don't get confused. So we are talking about WLAN, VLAN, AP and all. So you just uh, make sure you are getting the right uh, uh, values here. Okay, let me rewind that back. So for an example, this AP, not example, in this scenario, this AP is connected on a VLAN, uh, VLAN 9 and that is a native VLAN I am configuring for AP. Now, using this WLAN VLAN mapping, so this is the feature called VLAN mapping under Flex Connect. Using this, you can choose what is the VLAN, you have to use it for one particular WLAN that is enabled for local switching. So here, by default, it will take the native VLAN ID from your AP and if you want to change that, so for an example, this one is configured as 9 because your AP is participating in 9. Let me put that as 10. Then click apply. So when you do this, this is going to change something again on the uh, on your AP side. So I click that as VLAN 10 and as you can see here, one more sub interface got created. So that is gigabit interface VLAN 10. So so this is how AP is going to do uh, VLAN mapping in background, how you want to do it in background. Let me do one thing. Let me uh, give you one more example by changing the second WLAN into local switching. So second WLAN I'm going to change from central switching to local switching. I know this one is a little confusing but bear with me. <laughs> it, will, it will get stabilized after some time. Okay, so uh, local flex. Now you can see under flex connect, you have two WLANs. So one was 10, that is the one previously we configured. So whenever I change something on the other side, you can see a lot of changes are happening in your AP side. So this is how you are getting supported from uh, AP point of view. So now I'm going to enable uh, this particular local switching with WLAN ID 100. Sorry, uh, VLAN ID 100 for uh, WLAN ID 2. Then click apply. Again, one more change will happen here. And you can see interfaces are getting created. Okay, so now we can see 100 is also uh, got created and there is an NVI interface created for same IP and these many changes happen when you enable on the uh, enable the VLAN mapping on the uh, controller side. So this is how the interfaces are getting configured on the AP side and how APs are supporting your uh, local switching scenario in your local um, like uh, in controller side when you configure the flex connect mode little confusing if you watch this one multiple times you will get the idea and how to configure that and everything will be uh, clear with that uh, multiple watching so uh, it's I know it's a little uh, confusing but watch again and again and you will come to know you uh, analyze with the basic switching theories and you will get know how this VLAN mapping with WLAN is working in background I will cover uh, the next scenarios and how to use Flex Connect Group and all those scenarios in different video. For today, I am closing this video and it will be uh, it will be coming as part one for Flex Connect. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.